What's good everybody, welcome to the Coin Junior channel. Today we're gonna be going through my Twitter news and some latest news going on around the world right now, all right? So I've just tested and I really got COVID, so that's why my voice is a bit iffy and I'm just gonna keep this video short because I'm not uh, I'm not feeling too good, all right? So let's jump into the first news. The US GDP expands 2.6% in third quarter, faster than expected, and Bitcoin holds steady, all right? So Let's take a look at any growth in the GDP might be negative for the Bitcoin market since the Fed will have to keep raising interest rates to bring down inflation. So why does this happen? Because as the inflation is too high, the interest rate will be hiked up by the Federal Reserve to make sure everything is much more expensive, all right? To make sure that um, if you want to borrow money, if you want to lend money, it's more expensive, you know, uh, the mortgage, everything, you know, to, to, to bring down the inflation. So that's pretty normal. So let's take a look at this right here. After two consecutive months of contraction, the US economy rose in the third quarter, a sign that activity remains robust despite the Fed's aggressive push this year to raise borrowing costs. That's what I mentioned earlier, all right? So the GDP contracted, contracted by 1.6% in the first quarter and 0.6% in the second quarter prompting you know the speculation you know as the entire universe is heading to a recession right because everything is rising and all those stuff so the u.s surprisingly has grown its gdp because maybe because of the interest rates it might have something to do with that you know i'm not a technical analysis uh analyst sorry i'm not a technical analyst so i'm just gonna keep it to myself all right it also showed the economy can withstand further interest rate increases by the fed which is a good thing uh, for the US and you can see right here over the past week Bitcoin was up 5% as traders showed some relief over the prospect of slower interest rate hikes or even a potential Fed pivot which means the Fed might just cut interest rates or just not rate them at all you never know we never know so it's good news for US so let's head on to the second news FTX working on a new stablecoin all right stated by Sam Bankman free which is the CEO of FTX I don't know why we need another stablecoin, but apparently all these exchanges love stablecoins. I have no idea why. Um, yeah, FTX chief Sam Bankman Free revealed that the popular exchange is working on creating a new stablecoin. Terra's USTC algorithmic stablecoin was at the heart of the crypto market crash. Uh, remember my video? Uh, because of the algorithmic stablecoin and its model, it just caused mayhem across the crypto market, all right? So I don't understand why do we need more stable coins, but it is what it is, all right? Seem to be following the steps of fellow exchange Binance. Binance has a BUSD stable coin uh, and Tether's USDT, but I don't know what kind of stable coin is he planning to do. Hopefully it is it is backed by real assets instead of ever any stable coins because I don't want another risky, um, you know, just the whole market go boom again, all right? So let's take a look at the third news that we have today. Um, this is a bit lighter, but it's a bit surprising for people. And it's a bit surprising for me. Most crypto scams on happen on the BNB chain. Solidus Labs says, Crypto risk monitoring platform says it has flagged nearly 200,000 crypto rug pulls and DeFi scams since August 2020. And most of these happen on the BNB chain, right? Which is kind of insane. Nearly 12% of all BEP20 tokens, the standard token on BNB chain, are tied to scams wow Ugh. this is this is scary like the famous squid game token that's estimated to have cost users around 3 million in lost funds wow this is crazy all right this is crazy and as you can see right here this is the token contracts by chain it's by solidus labs you can see the bnb chain there's total of 1 million contracts and there's a total of 168,000 scam contracts which is kind of insane Wow, it's a bit lighter news, but mm, it, it gives you something to think about, doesn't it? Wow, hmm. this is interesting. So let's gonna uh, so let's take a look at the crypto market uh, real quick. Bitcoin is still holding strong. Ethereum is rising. Look at this. Look at this. Twenty one percent in one week. Seven point nine eight percent in one week. This is insane. BNB is rising as well. XRP obviously. Cardano, my favorite. I bought it at 34, 35 cents. It's amazing. I'm running this way out. Amazing Dogecoin because Elon Musk has entered Twitter officially. And let's see, let's see. 
Ma Matic, you know, I personally I call it Matic because it sounds more classy that way. I'm good. I'm just gonna call it Matic. Okay, I don't care what you guys say. Matic, right? It's up 11%. That's amazing. Dot, you know, the whole the entire market is just green at the moment, and it's just beautiful to see. It's beautiful to see. Okay, so let's take a look at my Twitter. The National Bank of Kazakhstan will integrate its CBDC on Binance blockchain wow another cbdc that's bad news that's really bad news hmm so near protocol elon musk says he acquired twitter to help humanity okay bro stop it bro come on man don't do this like i don't even want to read that shit that's enough bro that's enough all right news google launches cloud node engine for ethereum developers the node engine will include security features like google cloud's armor to prevent DDoS attacks. Wow, this is great. This is great. This is nice. It's really nice. All right, let's take a look if there's any other news that we have. Kazakhstan, well, like um, another CBDC, mm, Hedera, Domain Money, a crypto investing startup founded by Goldman Sachs, Alum Adam Dell, is, is shifting its strategy from actively managed investments to robo advisory. Wow. So, robo advisory, me. Like the word just speaks for itself, right? It's just an automated system that helps you invest stuff instead of human beings. Simple as that, all right? Um, I would say it's mm, all right. Not really, uh, yeah. Just then, UK Committee of Lawmakers approved stablecoin regulation bill. So stablecoin would are going to be regulated in the UK. That's great. That's great. So crowdfunding platform Seed Invest is being is being acquired by a rival. I'm not gonna read it. CirclePay finalizes it, its divestment to focus on stable coins. Another stable coins. There's so many stories about stable coins. Okay. It's kind of insane. Wow. I thought I'm having a deja vu. I'm not gonna lie. Crypto winter partially blamed for Google's weak third quarter in terms of ad growth. Hmm. Well, um, you got yourself to blame on that. All right. We can't help you with that. So I guess I'm just gonna end my video right here. All right, I'm just gonna end right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the short video. Um, and uh, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updated videos. And check out my YouTube shorts. Um, I'll be posting a lot of price updates and um, a lot of interesting stuff for you to see. All right, so follow my Twitter, um, underscore coin junior, and like, subscribe, hit that bell. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon, all right? Peace.